Hello, my dear friends, I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today, we're going to be discussing a very exciting topic, L1 visa for UK citizens. At the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to get a free evaluation of your case. Let's go. Alright guys, if you are from UK, smash that like button because I'm creating a content special for you. And this is very exciting for me because people from UK are the number one nation to apply for L1 visa, meaning that first place in the amount of L1 visas goes to UK. So this is great. I love the UK people. We get different types of visas from UK. We get O1s, we get EB1As, we get EB2 National Interest Waiver, we get EB2, EB3, uh, we get some EB5s. But again, I think L1 and EB1C is also a way to go because a lot of English and Scottish and Welsh and other companies fall within the requirements of L1 visa. And we notice that American Embassy in London is more loyal to L1 visas for the citizens of this country. That's why this video is here and that's why you're watching it. Because you're probably thinking about coming to the States and either buying an existing business or beginning a startup business. So this video is for you if you already own a business and you wanna expand in the US. L1 visa is for managers and executives in the foreign company and a foreign company for the purpose of this video is a company that's located outside of the United States of America. So by way of example, there is a company in Great Britain, let's say in London, that company is dealing with uh, auto parts and that company employs at least 15 people one five and there is a structure in that company three level of control there are people who are at the top of the company who control who create the strategies and policies for the company on the second level there are managers who actually control and implement those policies and strategies. And on the third level, there are people who actually do the work. Starting with 15 people, we can think about L1 visa. So a person who is at the first level of control, you could also be the owner of the business, but you still have to be an employee, a CEO, president, maybe some other executive, depending on the size of your company. Maybe you have a hundred people, maybe you have a thousand people. I have companies in my portfolio with 20,000 people and we transfer people from the very top and from the top management and from the middle management, right? So it all depends on the size, but again, not less than 15 employees. So the people who actually have other managers in their control, could be transferred to the US if those people have been working in the foreign business for at least a year within the past three years. In most cases, that person is still working and has been working there for a while, but not less than a year. But sometimes we get the people who worked in the foreign company maybe a year ago and now they're not working, but for whatever reason, the management of the company wants to transfer that person to scale and grow the business in the US. Auto parts company in London that employs 15 employees and there is a CEO and in this example, let's say that this same person is also 100% owner of the foreign company. So the CEO, John, is the CEO of auto parts company in London who has been working there for three years and he also owns 100% of the foreign company. Now, John wants to come to the US and open up a new office in New York in order to expand his auto parts business in a different market. John comes to the US, opens up an LLC or a corporation, owns that company for 100%, so we establish that affiliation between the US company and the foreign company, the one in London. And John has a business plan 
that presupposes that that new office, that new startup will have at least five employees besides him at the end of year one and eight employees besides him at the end of year three. So John finds an office big enough to fit all six people at the end of year one. And also John transfers $100,000 to his new startup business in New York to fund the new idea. And besides, John writes a business plan for five years ahead with the projections, with the financial model, with analysis of the competitions, with the investment, with the break even point, and things like that. This is a classic example of L1 visa where we can collect all the paperwork from the foreign company, from the US company, draft a memorandum proving all the requirements, file it with the USCIS and get approval for one year. So with the startup business, read the new office. So the new office is the USCIS classification of a startup business, okay? So when I say startup business or new office, that means the same thing. The new office approval for L1 visa is gonna be for one year. That's why it's so important to have a business plan that reflects the at least five employees at the end of year one. So when we get to the end of year one, we have that people working in the new office. So we could extend it for another two years. The maximum amount of time for L1 visa to be here is seven years. So if it's a new office, it's one year, then two, 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 up to seven years. If it's an existing business, so we're purchasing the business or we're already having a company that's already been functioning for over, over a year and it has at least eight employees, then the L1 visa is gonna be for three years. So again, startup business, it's one year and then extensions for two years. If it's an existing business, then it's three years and two more extensions for two years. So why it's easier for UK citizens to get L1 visa? First of all, you can get to the States through ESTA visa waiver program to open up a company, to get a bank account and to rent an office. Those three things are the hardest part to do if you can't come to the States. A lot of our clients from the countries that are not able to get visa waiver program, so they have to get either tourist visa or do everything remotely. So imagine John from London who is doing everything remotely, which again possible, but it's much, much harder. It adds up costs, it adds up stress and uh, everything else. So UK citizens are an advantage. Also, the American embassies are very loyal as to granting L1 visas and extending them. So let's say it's not five people at the end of year one, but it's four people. We probably can get it extended just because of the fact that you're from UK. And again, it doesn't mean that USAS discriminates against other nations, but it's just, you know, the friendship between the countries and reciprocity. So I think there is some loyalty going on, which, which I think is great to be loyal to your allies. And that's why you are in advantage. And also, you guys speak English. <laughs> How great that is. You don't have to learn a new language like I did or a lot of my clients do, who are from Brazil, Argentina, post-Soviet countries, from Africa, from Asia, they have to learn English to be able to communicate properly in the States. You guys already speak it. I don't know how much better can it be. And also don't forget that the spouse of L1 petitioner gets L2 status, meaning that that spouse will be able to work in the States not necessarily in the US company. So a wife or a husband can find another work and work there as well and bring more income to the family. And the kids of L1 petitioner are able to be here, stay here and go to public school for free. So get a great American education as long as they are under 21 and not married.
So if you think that your business or your position qualify for L1 visa, you can get a free evaluation. How to get it? Very easy. Go in the description of this video below. Find a link that says free evaluation of your L1 case. Click on that link, fill out the questionnaire and I will give you a free analysis, free evaluation within 48 hours. And if I can see the potential in your case, then I will invite you to the immigration planning where I will build and create a strategy of filing your L1 visa. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, smash that like button, comment, ask me questions. I love those because guess what guys? I get the new content based on your questions and you probably can see it. So also subscribe to my Instagram and to my TikTok. The links are down below to stay in touch with me and be up to date. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.